refresh yourselves. Refresh yourselves. Hi, hello, hello, hi. Sorry, it took me like 30 seconds to switch screens. I lost where all my windows were. Hi, how are we doing? I, of course, have to redeem two. Sippies. Right off the bat. So how are we doing, everyone, all my friends? I just got off of World Anvil stream where we were talking about my chapter in World Anvil, which is very exciting. I just took up that mantle like at the beginning of this month. And so I have been planning and hoping for, you know, fun new things that we can do together. Cause you know, things have been pretty quiet, but that's kind of been a universal thing around all of the chapters. And we're just, we're bringing them back. We're having the grand revival. Well, Obi Shaker, hello. Hi, I saw you on the World Anvil stream. Hello, I saw you, I believe in my inbox. <laughs> um, yeah, so how are we doing today? We're having our little gaming stream. I've been so overwhelmed with work and things that I'm trying to do. And so we're just taking a little day to relax and play some video games. First time in a little while I had to skip last week's Sunday stream. So today we're just going all in. We're gonna see what we can do. And so let us, let's do some swapping streams. Oh gosh, close this. Oh no, I'm kind of all over the place. I'm so sorry. Let's go this way, that way. Bang. Oh no, why isn't it working? Oh, okay, <laughs> there it goes. Torchic! Yeah, I got my little buddy back there. I love him. <laughs> He's so cute. I've had him actually since I was in school. So, like high school. So we, we've, been on, we've been on quite a few adventures together. So we are just jumping right on into Graveyard Keeper, back to our save file, where hopefully I remember anything that I was working on before. I also got rid of all my post-it notes from my desk while I was cleaning everything, and so now I have nothing to write my notes on. Because I will inevitably forget all of the materials I need to complete my projects. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Because of course, since I haven't played since last week, I don't remember where I am or what I'm doing. All I know is I need... Well, I need to get wine, I need to get... I need to build a snack tent. Let us remind ourselves what we need to do for that, because that's our main goal today. We want to serve Borgers at the hottest witch burning event of the century. Let me go up this way. 
So yeah, we have fun here. Perfectly normal activities. I'm not in a cult. See, this is where we need to be. This is what I need to build. What do we got here? I need a rope, planks, and nails. Gosh, where on earth would I have put... Because now I feel very discombobulated. Now I need to know where my little materials are. Which papers I shove them away with. Life is hard. <laughs> Life is hard when you endeavor to make things nice and clean and pretty. Because then you just lose all your belongings. It's fine, but I need rope, planks, and nails. Easy. Easy enough. But then comes the hard part of actually making all of the burgers and things. Because they need to be gold quality. They need to be good. Absolutely oh, delicious, scrum dilly umptious. But we'll see how that goes. So what do I have? Do I ha Is that enough planks? No, it wasn't, because I didn't have enough then. So let's see. Can I make planks right here? Oh, I need to get more wood! Oh boy. Yeah, we've jumped right back in. I told myself that I would absolutely do some resource gathering, like, off-stream, so... We didn't have to worry about this too much, but it's fine. This is my favorite part of the day, just hauling logs like this to my house. It honestly kind of is relaxing, to be honest. I'm just a little lumberjack in the woods here. And my favorite thing in this game actually is picking stuff up and then accidentally dropping it because I double tap the button that you need to use to pick stuff up. I'm a very graceful gamer, you see. Ooh. All right. Now why am I in here? All right, so let's just make nine more planks. That should be plenty. I should have planks left over, actually, as a result of this. All right, and now we need to make a bunch of nails. The only thing I don't have on hand is rope, I'm pretty sure. I also do need to make some more nails. Because I need 20 of those. Let's see what we got. I got 20 nails, I think I need 15 planks. I need 5 rope. How do I make rope? <laughs> At least I'm pretty sure I can make it. It'd be kind of silly if I couldn't. Building? Question mark? Or is it in... I feel like it would be farming in nature, because it's like hemp stuff. I don't know. I know where I can buy some, and that's what matters. Let's put all of our fertilizer in. We'll gather some carrots, because honestly we kind of need them. My bags are full, so I'll need to <laughs> I'll need to do something about that. Cause I'm walking around with so much stuff. Right away. Wait, I don't want to put onions in there. What am I doing? Sticks in here. Okay. I'm a fan of inventory management. I just am very slow about it. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I finally have run out of um, cabbage seeds to replenish my stock with. Oh no. I love this game, but every time I'm just on a task trying to do something, I just encounter six more tasks that I need to do in order to you know, carry things forward. And so in the end, nothing really gets done. But then I have to remind myself, I'm not really here to rush through the process. So honestly, I just really like this game. <laughs> I like being here. I like the atmosphere. Oh, 
Oh, do I have any seeds that I can plant? Can plant more beets? Plant this wheat. Sure. Wait, these pumpkin seeds? Oh, I could have planted more pumpkins. <laughs> My bad. My bags are full. I might need to put more uh, trunks out here, actually. <laughs> oh, we can plant something down here, too. Pumpkin. Right. And I mean, conveniently now it's daytime, so it's a lot more likely that the person I'm after is going to be where I want them to be. Oh, did I? Okay, for a second I thought I put away my teleport stone. I was gonna be very concerned. Very upset. So let's sell some of these. Do I need anything from you? I do realize I could have just been buying wine from Haradric because he just sells silver quality wine and that's what I need for my quest. That's all good. At least now I can make it myself and I'm a much more self-sufficient farmer. So we're, we're out here to see my homie. This guy right here. Ding dong, bing bang bong. Dig I am, am I? I love this guy. I'm gonna get 10 in case I need some more. It's not particularly expensive. And now we just go back home. And so we should have everything we need to make this stand. But then of course, as I said before, our next challenge is actually making the food for it. Let me check my technologies, because I don't actually know if I can make beer yet. And that's something I need. Da -da -da. Okay. But I can learn. And so we will learn how to make the brewing stand. And how to create mugs of beer. And we'll address that when we get there. Because <laughs> of course we're going to need more materials for that. All right, we can build the buffet. There we go. Progress. Oh, not enough energy on the last hit. There we go. All right, so I need five gold star burgers and I need 10 gold star mugs of beer. It's pretty cool. All right. I already know how to make burger. Where do I put the brewing stand? Is that upstairs, outside? I imagine it's outside of my house. Let's see, let's see. It is not outside my house. Is it inside my house? Like the, like the wine barrels. I think it is. Like my singular wine barrel. <laughs> I don't have enough juice to make any wine right now. Let's see, brewing stand, okay. Simple iron parts and a piece and 24 pieces of stone. That's super achievable. Um, I just need to know how much stone I have. <laughs> that might hold me back. Uh, according to my chest here, I have zero. So, uh... Oh, I have all these blocks down here, hold up. Right, and that's 24 pieces of stone right there. Just have to wait for those to chisel out. Okay, one more. Have some soup. Perfect. So now we go down here. We make our little brewing stand as I Ask myself existential questions, like, where do I put it? <laughs> it's like, where, where do I like you? I take up the least amount of space, technically, if I put you there. And there you go, you'll be like right in front of my wine barrel, so that's totally fine. 
So let's see, I need wheat, I need hops, and I need water. Simple enough. But where? Where do I get hops from? Ooh, Lise, thank you for following. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? I think... I think maybe hop seeds are from the merchant. Which means he's not going to be around for a little bit. But I do have a lot more wheat than I know what to do with, I think, at this point. So we can just toss some of that into my chest. I mean, I certainly don't know what to do with 50 of it, so... So I'll just grab 50. One stack, if you will. I'm just gonna run that over. Maybe I'll grab some water on the way. Because might as well have some in the chest, so I don't have to keep running around for it. And again, I do find this mechanic silly, that I have to use these buckets. To collect this water. <laughs> all right, all right. So we put away the water, put away the wheat. And so now all we're missing is hops. But I need it to be gold quality. I need it to be good. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna do the silly little. We're gonna do the silly little consult the internet. Because with this game, I feel like it's kind of just necessary. I know that this one... Da, da, da. From the Miller? I don't know who that guy is. He's at the wheat farm. Well, I guess... I guess we will see if we can encounter this guy, because he's out during the day. So we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to sleep it off real quick. Oh, but of course it is Sunday! It's like our favorite day of the week. So we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to prepare for a Sunday sermon, of course. So let's run on over. This will be also my chance to show you guys what I've been doing with my graveyard and such. Oh, donkey's here. What's up, donkey? Why are you here? No carrots, no body. Yeah, I, I know. I I just didn't even know that he showed up if I didn't uh, give him anything. Wait, I have two bodies in my... Mm. <laughs> I didn't know that. I already... I already did this, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, I didn't know that this guy was just down here. Oh my god. If I knew that, I would have addressed that first thing, but... Alright, yeah, he's already a little skunky, but I need your skull, sir. Please give that to me. What we're doing here is perfectly normal. Just taking your bones. Taking your meat. Do I have enough bag space for this? Uh, yeah, probably. I'll take the fat. Why not? What I don't have enough room for is the skin that I'm about to take. I have to do a little run around. Over, over to this chest over here. I'll put some of this stuff away. Ooh, and you know, we can also put away this. Put that over here. Okay. Of course, we're gonna pick up some more stuff on the way back down, but that's fine. This guy needs to go away. Oh, and I have a spot prepared for him. Here you go. Farewell, good sir. Your contribution was much appreciated. And you... You come with me. We're gonna take a little trip. Over to my, uh... Over to my graveyard. Yo, wait, where's the bishop going? <gasps> oh, <laughs> me just holding a body in this cutscene? <laughs> what a masterpiece. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you think so. 
truly astonishing craftsmanship. Your holiness. Ah, oh, it's you. I was just looking around. You know, some of these statues aren't half bad. Can you make a statue of me? For your grave? Are you dying, your holiness? No, no. I'm in perfect health. It's just help me spread my holy aura. Oh, wait. I've got a brilliant idea. I need these statues. I need three statues. One for my office. Make that one a bit taller and looking like I'm thinking about something important. The second one is for the soup kitchen. That one should look like I care. But I'm also thinking about something important. I'll try. And the third one. We'll put right here in front of the church. Make that one look like I'm cool and welcoming everybody. This task is of utmost importance. Put it at topmost on your to-do list. Without these statues, we can't upgrade this big church into a cathedral. Alright, thank you, sir. Um, anyway, I need to put down this body. <laughs> now that you've been talking to me about it. Dum-dee-dum. Oh gosh, it's like declining rapidly. Come here. <laughs> I'm so bad at picking up these bodies. Alright, come here. Nope. In. Thank you. Oh gosh, this body got gross. No. Oh well. Do I have anything for you? Any gravestones? Any- no, nothing. Not yet. Oh well. Yeah, it's okay. It's all good. Hello, sir. Can I talk to you? So about the cathedral. Okay, so I need to make three statues. What can I trade with you? Nothing really. I don't need anything from him as of yet. But we do need to have our little sermon. So here we go. We've come to pray. I gather up everyone in the room. I'd like to say a few words. Our church is great. A resounding nice from the crowd. And now let us pray for this blessing. Oh, I pray for the best burgers in the land. Ooh, I got a couple nices in there instead of just like a resounding okay. We like that. We're a fan of that. But I had a resounding great sermon. Great sermon from everybody involved. Everybody watching. We got a whole 10 faith for that. That's pretty good. We are moving up in the world slowly but surely. As I upgrade this place more and more by the day. Very exciting. I'm kinda kinda slow on it because of course I'm trying to juggle 6,000 different tasks all at the same time. We're gonna go to the dead horse. Sell some of this. Get a little bit of money back, because I'm about to go spend some money. And let's see if this guy's around when I need him to be. So it said, northern side of the wheat field. A little disorienting to walk through, but it's fine. Hello, sir. Greetings, the mill is broken, sorry. <sighs> if you need something milled, you better go to the town. That's too bad. But I have nothing to mill. I live at the graveyard. Also, I've never talked to this guy before. Keeper, nice to meet you. I have some old reserves you may find useful. Alright. Okay, so I just need to like buy stuff from him until he likes me. Hmm. Is this going to help me at all? Okay, that that is building it up very, very slowly. If I sell him this stuff, does it also... Ooh, okay, yeah, so I just need to keep buying stuff and selling it back. And then I will be able... Yeah, it's just, ca <laughs> it's just counting it up. Alright, we're spending a little bit of money. Fine. Just buying and selling back his stock. I don't think that this is how you're supposed to do this, but... But well. He's, like, he's making money off of me right now. This is silly. I love it. Thanks. 
Like, this is definitely not the game as intended. But... I found it. He sells what I need, and so I'm just going to make it work for me. Okay, he will restock this stuff tomorrow, so I can't buy it today. But we got the friendship up enough. And that's what matters. Um... You know, what? where are we with... Okay, so Miss, uh... Miss Charm will be in town in-game tomorrow. And I have the perfume for her that she wanted. And so lucky for us, that means that is a quest that we can complete. Or, you know, progress anyway. And so whenever whenever she whenever she shows up tomorrow, we can come back and do that. Da 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 da. Let's go back home. Let's see how to assemble burger. So I need I need good quality onions to make a gold quality burger. So 20% gold star on a silver quality onion, which we have. I don't know if I have any gold quality onions though. That'll be something to investigate for sure. Or I can just start planting my silver quality onion seeds with some nice fertilizer. Maybe we can uh, bump that number up a little. Yeah, so we need baked meat and bread. Which I mean, bread's easy enough. And I just need to bake some meat. So let's see. Bread. We can just, we can just queue that up real quick. Let us go back to bed. Pardon me for just a moment. The allergies are destroying my life. All right, we sleep the day. And then when it's daytime again, we can go back to the inn. Oh, one of our, a little bit of our bread is done. Okay, so I, I just have a lot of stuff sitting in my bags that I don't need to be sitting in here. For example, all of my all of my silk. The only thing I need the silk for is the church. So if I'm not using it right now, it can just live in the church. Let me in. So in this chest, bang. You get to live here. What else do I need to make nice, uh, nice little benches? So that's what they're for. Jointing and planks. Okay. Well, we can bring those in whenever we need them. We need we need five more benches, like to replace the to replace the regular benches. We need five more, and so oh, we need forty planks to do that, and twenty jointing, which who that's a lot of materials. But we'll do that later. We will do that later. So that is not our priority right now. No, no. Our priority is making sure that we can get these burgers. That is that, that is our goal for the day. Can we get burger? And also hops. Because, of course, we have just prepared for that. Let's see. Let's collect the perfume from here so that I don't forget it when I go back out there. Uh, put away these materials right here. Da -da. Wait, no, rope can also go here. I already had rope. Oh, I didn't have enough. Okay, that's fair then. Bam, bam. Just a little inventory management for the road. It's very important. Ooh. Actually, I kind of... I want to see if I can go ahead and make fertilizer right now. I don't remember the exact recipe, so we're gonna have to go do some exploring in my basement again. Perfectly normal is kind of like the usual activity. And so let's see. We make that here, I believe. Da -da -da. Okay. Quality fertilizer uses growth enhancer. And so at my alchemy workbench, which I believe is 
here? Yes. Growth enhancer? Oh, perfect. Okay. So I can just make a bunch of these. No problem. That is the thing I like about alchemy, though. Like, you have to... You have to make something once in order to kind of, like, discover the recipe, but once you make it, it just stays here. And so that's really nice. It makes my life a lot easier. What do I have? Oh, sick. Okay, so I already have peat down here, so I don't have to go run back up to my farm to get some. Oh, we love that. Pay no mind to my chest full of organs. That's not important right now. We're not thinking about it. We're not focusing on it. It's not important. Anyway, while it's still on my mind, let's go back to Sweet Home. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's actually not where I wanted to go. So that kind of thwarts my plans. I wanted to go to the dead horse. But now I have to walk there like a silly little goober because I just used my teleport stone to go upstairs. <laughs> oh no. It's fine, we'll take a little scenic route. We'll just walk there. In fact, we will pay a little visit to the farmer. And we'll see like the best quality onion seeds we can buy. And we will use those seeds when we get back home. Hello, sir. So the best you've got is silver quality. I'll take your whole stock, sir. Is that all I want, though? Oh, yeah. It's all I want. It's all I need. And now we continue our trek over to the inn. Although by now, I think I could have used my teleport stone. It's fine. I like walking through town. It's nice out here. It's pretty. I like looking at all these buildings. I I love looking at this tavern out here. Like, isn't it so pretty? <laughs> like, this this game is one of the main reasons why for a while I was thinking like, ooh, for Malcora, I kind of want to do pixel art style art. And I'm like, I kind of just don't want to do that. Oh, and so now we are talking to Miss Charm. I have some perfume for you. Here you go. A vial of perfume. Ah, oh, let me kiss you. I'm so happy. Haha. <laughs> I'll wear it to my concert at the Royal Palace. Finally, I will reach the pinnacle of my career. So many things still remain to be prepared. By my sins, you are so sweet to me. Maybe you can help me a little bit more. I need a romantic story for the opening of the concert. Maybe you'll think of something. I'm a bad writer myself, and I don't want something trivial. I think I know where I can get a good story for you. Oh, you're the kind of man I could fall in love with. Haha. <laughs> Just hee <laughs> hee. Alright, so I need to bring her a gold quality story. I, I still love that there's an option here that says, I have some questions. No more questions. <laughs> Alright. Well, now we can teleport home. And I'm actually wondering if maybe I do have a gold quality story just lurking in my basement. I don't know that I do because I really haven't seen... Do I? Oh, I do. I do have a gold quality story, so I can just go right back to her and give that to her. Dun -dun -dun. Sometimes life really is so shrimple. And we're putting these away because we actually don't need to be holding on to these. Can I teleport yet? No. Well, as long as we get back to the inn before nighttime. Because I just I want to give this to her and move on. My right, perfect. Dead horse. Hello, madam. I'm back. I've written you a great story. It's a love story. I hope it'll get the audience into the right mood. What would I ever do without you? Task complete. Seems like I'm irreplaceable. Haha. <laughs> By the way, do you know the local farmer? 
Yes, I trade with him. Good. Talk to him, man to man. I need his daughter Elisa to accompany me to the royal concert. She's so good and so beautiful. Maybe some nobleman will appreciate her beauty. Even the king himself, perhaps. The poor girl is a mute, but that can be a big advantage for her. So what's the problem? Uh, it's not a big deal. I just need her father to formally grant her permission so she can travel with me to the town. He doesn't approve of her musical interests, but maybe you'll be able to convince him. Alright. So that is our next quest. We have to go we have to go shake down the farmer for his daughter. I mean, <laughs> You love a good farmer's daughter love story, am I right? Let's see, I was just down here buying onion seeds from this guy, so we know we're tight, we know we're good. Best of buddies. Hello, sir. About Elisa. Oh, cutscene. I'm here to ask your permission to let your daughter go to the town with Miss Charm. It's a great opportunity for her. I need her here. We have a lot of work to do on the farm. Besides, I don't trust this actress. She already spent too much time helping out at the tavern. I don't like it. Hey. Mm, you want to help Elisa? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Mm, I like when she plays. I want to help too. If you help my uncle fix the mill, then father will be so happy. I'll ask about Elisa, and I bet he'll let her go. Thank you. I'll talk to your uncle. Alright, and so we come back around to this guy that I'd never spoken to before, but if I never did speak to him, I would be right now. Funny how life works out that way. I like to help fix the mill. Do you know what the mill needs for repairs? You're welcome to give it a shot. I tried to fix it myself, but I only made things worse. I have this manual for this thing, but it's in Latin. Oh my. And back home, we blame Ikea. It says we need stone and steel parts. Okay, let's see the instructions. Where's the last page? Um, there weren't many pictures on it. Thought it wasn't important. And the paper was so soft. I see. Geometry isn't really my strong suit. I think I'll need the astrologer's help to figure this out. Oh, but I can buy hop seeds. Oh, I can only buy one hop seed. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. I see. And one hop. Well, am I, am I gonna have to play this game again? I think we're playing this game again. I... I don't have the willpower to play this game again right now. <laughs> we'll see what happens after I finish this quest. Um, and we need the astrologer's help, which isn't going to be for many in-game days. So that's going to be on the back burner for now. For now, we can go back to farming. And that will be our task of the day. So let's see here. I have to come back to this guy like every single day for a while. These mushrooms in here, because why not? Put this fertilizer in here. I really don't need these maggots to exist, because I, I don't use them for pretty much anything. And they're, just, they're clogging up so much. I take. Oh, the stack's in hundreds. And I know Pete's useful, but I get so much of it all the time and I don't really do a lot of focus on farming, so we're just gonna get rid of a little bit of that. Just so I don't have to manage it in my inventory for the foreseeable future. Let's see. So all I really have to do is load these up and I get like a bajillion pieces of peat every single day. So let's see. Got our nice quality fertilizer. And our nice quality onions. Quality fertilizer. Quality onions. Easy peasy. So now what else can we do? 
Because of course we want to plant hops, but we don't have access to them right now. Uh, we will just... We will just wait for us to have access to some hops. We're gonna go sleep, we're gonna go relax for a while. We're gonna have time pass by as much as possible. And then, once we get to, you know, the stuff that we actually need, then we can start taking care of it. And of course it is the merchant's day. I don't have anything for the merchant, unfortunately, so... Well, I think it is rather fortunate. That means I can just do other stuff. Let's see. I need to chop up some meat. So let's... How many burgers do I need? Okay, so I need to craft a burger three times. Minimum. Because <laughs> I need it to be gold. And so I need 12 baked meat in order to actually do that. I need, a, I need six meats. I should have plenty, I'm pretty sure. Like I should be a-okay. There we go. Grab some meats. Slice them up. Definitely not human flesh, I promise. I, as a graveyard keeper, would never lie to you. <laughs> Most certainly not. Alright, and so now that's cooking. Oh, it's raining. Atmosphere. We shall go back here. We'll talk to Haradric. I don't think he has anything that I need right now. Oh, you know what? Did I give... I did not give Jerry any wine yet. So actually, I should do that. It's like one of the first quests that you get in this game and I still haven't done it. We'll do that when we come back home. How's that? I'm gonna go talk to the merchant, at least. Oh, my neck. We're maybe gonna get... We're not gonna go all in, we're just gonna get four grape seeds, gold quality. Uh, and we wanted to come back to the mill, because it's a brand new day, so that means he should have at least one more hop seed, probably, to sell me. We're just gonna have to keep doing this once a day, every single day. <laughs> Until we have enough to plant. Oh, he has two today. Very exciting. Excellent. And so we have a couple more hops, a couple more hop seeds. Very nice. So yeah, we're gonna go... We're gonna go hang out with Jerry, because, uh... It's actually very interesting that I have not turned in that quest yet. Despite having the wine in my inventory for probably like a couple in-game weeks at this point. Hey Jerry, what's up? Give him wine. I don't have any sense of taste, but I can tell it's lacking in alcohol. Sorry, I'm gonna get all depressed now. Oh, he's sad. See you later. Is that it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that was anticlimactic, but he got his wine, and that's what matters. Alright. So in the grand scheme of things, we're really waiting for the astrologer's day to roll back around. And so that's kind of like our main quest at the moment. Um, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Do I have anything for you yet? No. The way these hop seeds. 
Ugh, the grape seeds not get planted here. Put these hops in here. All right. We'll go back up to Witcho. So I can plant these grapes so I can get more, uh, more wine going. This wine made me a lot of money. Like, it was really good. I just need to do it more often. Oh, and look at all these grapes that are ready for harvest. Oh yeah, I can't like walk through here because it's all sticky. So it's so satisfying to just pick an entire thing. Oh, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, okay. I accidentally used the not nice fertilizer, which means I just have a little slot that I need to take up with the less ideal plant. Okay, so we got gold here, gold here, gold there. Got any more gold? Yeah, we do. Gold, gold, and now silver. And now silver. This is pre-fertilized with the icky, less good stuff. So we can't do that, unfortunately. Oh well. Yeah, we'll just use up these little spots that are already fertilized with like the fertilizer I don't want to use anymore. And then eventually everything will just kind of even out, so it's fine. All right. Gosh, and how much do I need for wine? Is it 15 each? I think it's 15. So I'll take these. If I'm wrong, I will just be very sad. <laughs> that's, that's all there is to it. So we take it down here to the vine press. Ale of grape juice, perfect. And it is indeed 15. And now we have two silver quality grape juice pails and one gold. Maybe we'll queue up some wine. Yeah, we'll see. Hmm. Oh, because I think we're gonna start getting a lot more gold quality grapes, so I'm wondering if it's worth it now to just guarantee that this is gonna be Silver Star. Or just leave it up to chance. I'll leave it up to chance. We'll live dangerously for today. Okay. And so our next course of action. Oh, and look, we got more fertilizer. So you just, you never really run out of this stuff. Cause like I just picked up 30 just from <laughs> hanging around here. Um, I'm gonna take 70 of it. Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> I keep slipping, okay. I'll put 100 in our church cellar. Cause we'll wanna make nicer, um, we'll wanna make nicer fertilizer anyway. Cause we're gonna need it. I'm kind of running low already. So we'll just have this just like down there chilling. Not in that chest. That one's a little occupied. Yeah, so now we just have a bunch of fertilizer just kicking around down here. I, oh gosh, I'm like running out of room for stuff. What can I put in the hand mixer that gives me life solution? Is it you? Wait, I don't need to 
I don't need to put it into my bag. Alchemy mill. Hand mixer. Brains. Life solution. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I don't really need brains for anything other than that, I don't think. So we'll just do some of that. Maybe... Oh wait, no. Alchemy table. Need to make some growth enhancer. Well, I already have enough. Like, I don't really need to make more. Oh well. Better to have more than to not have enough. That's why I'm a hoarder in Minecraft. <laughs> so we'll just make some more fertilizer, some more quality stuff, so that we get more quality crops. I am tired. And there we have it. We have lots and lots of fertilizer. We can put these uh, intestines back. Alright, and our real goal now is we need to give the donkey some carrots so that he continues bringing us some bodies. Because I need to expand my skull collection. By a yet considerable margin. So, I like to give him 20. Oh my goodness. My neck is like snapping itself. Okay. Oh, okay, so he stands there with a body waiting for me to pay him. Gotcha. So if I pay him, he just drops a body instantly for me. That's cool. I thought he just didn't show up at all. Let's take some stuff out of here. Hmm. Now I have to ask myself, is this body worth burying in my cemetery? Because if I embalm it, it'll have seven white hearts, which is a pretty good number. Oh, especially considering that's more than double of what most of my graveyard is. <laughs> but... I'm also like, oh, I could just take the meat out. Oh, we're just, we're like resource gathering right now. Like, we also need skin for paper. You know, bones for some dyes and such. Might as well, right? I don't really need any of these organs. I don't have any more, um... Oh, hey, money. I don't have any more, uh... Uh, burning places. Let's just go get some wood for that. Come on. Oh, we're losing it. <laughs> we're losing it instantly. Let's see if this makes it all the way up. Aye, aye. You know what, if I'm already here, put that down. And then we just grab this, push that down. Efficiency. Easy. We're gonna use up every single log that we have now to make these, because oh my gosh, it takes so much resource to do this. Who knew cremating bodies was so resource inten inten uh, intensive? That's the word. I can speak, I promise. I'm just. I've had to do so much talking lately that I'm uh, struggling to keep up. Uh -huh. 
the words don't word. And that's, um, that's really rough when you're trying to create stuff. But hey, that's okay. So we really are just out here trying our best. And listen, sometimes that's just all you can ask for. Sometimes all you can really accomplish in this life is, you know, trying your hardest. And even if it doesn't work out, well, there's always tomorrow. I did not want to pick the mushrooms. I wanted to chop down the tree. <laughs> Aye, come on. Well, that was a pretty sick diagonal push. I don't think I ever managed that before. Oh, and it's body time. Thank you, donkey. Hello, sir. Welcome to my morgue. Oh gosh. And my other favorite hobby, dropping bodies before I put them on the table. Oh, my character has developed the sleepy. Which means I need to put myself into bed before too long. Oh, this one only has one red heart. You know what? Okay, this one. Here we go. Okay. I need to go run all the way around to go pick up this glue. Because I just don't have a chest down there. Which is kind of silly, but... Oh, I don't have room for it. Okay. Let's see. Let's put all this stuff away. Got four skulls, which means we're just one away from being able to put another skull pillar in our basement. Isn't that exciting? We have really fun decor in this game. Alright, so you, you get to just embalm for a while. I'm gonna go listen to my in-game body and go take a nap. Have a little sleep, if you will. What is today? Today's the Inquisitor's Day. I don't have anything for the Inquisitor as of yet, and so we don't really need to worry about that too much. Ba -ba -da -ba. Better question is, how is this body doing? Almost. We're getting there. This body's getting a little skunky, don't worry, I've, I didn't forget about you. We just gotta... We just gotta set up our little area here real quick. It's gonna be real silly to try and do this while it's raining. It's gonna work, like that doesn't actually affect anything. It's just silly to me that we're just doing this in the rain. As if these logs aren't just completely soaked. Warm by the fire. Right, and now we just uh, just build a new one in its place. Might as well. Boom, boom. Our graveyard is looking good. Of course, I do need. I need to evaluate what this guy looks like. So we have one, we have a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six uh, skulls that we can use. Technically eight that we need to get points for. All right, we have an eight point body that we need to fill up. So let's make some gravestones. Let's make some headstones and stuff. Let's see if I can learn to make any fancier ones first. 
Like there's the marble ones, but I don't have enough points to learn that yet. So we can stick with the stone for now. <sighs> yeah, we'll just stick with stone for now. Maybe one day we'll upgrade to marble. Who knows? I just don't think that I have a whole lot of stone, like, in general. So let's see, we need a stone grave fence. Stone grave fence two, so we need a polished brick of stone and a piece of stone. So we'll just break this rock down first. Now we can make a polished brick of stone. There's our stone grave fence. And now we need... So that gives three. If I make a sculpture of any kind, then that will take us up to like max points, which is good. I just have to... I have to decide for myself if I want to put in those resources right now. Because they cost faith. And faith is not cheap. We'll make our little fancy stones. I need two for the statue, right? I only need one, actually. So I made a little more than I need. That's fine. We'll just put this and this away. Iron parts. Need the complex stuff. Let's put those away for now. And now we go take a trip to my little basement. Oh, we got our wine. Is it? Oh, yes, silver quality. I took the chance and I won. Excellent. <laughs> what did I come here for? Oh yeah, faith. Okay. One, two, three, one, two, three. I think I had one up there. And so if I only have one, that means I need an extra two to round it off. We're yawning because we're so tired. Which chest is it in? It's in this one. Okay. Sick. And so... I need one of you. And we shall make this stone sculpture. And run out of energy for it in the middle of it. And we get another body. Like, instantly. Ah, uh, thank you, donkey! I wasn't 100% ready yet, but that's fine. Alright, give me a skull. That's what we're here for. Give me your blood, because I need something to fill my fountains. Take the fat, just because it's helpful. I need to make some candles, so... Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Yeah, we can- we can leave the bones. I really don't need the bones. Like, I just kinda- I keep taking them because I can. But eventually they're just gonna start taking up space that I just do not have. Um, alright, so give me this body. Give me that. And we are going to bury this one somewhere. We'll find a spot for it, don't you- don't you worry. 
gravesite. Bam. Da 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 da. Just don't want these bodies to be like out any longer than they need to be. Um, so how much? So you're also an eight point body. You're also eight points. But this grave is nicer, so I guess we'll just decorate this one first. Oh, beautiful. And, um, yeah, we'll just- <laughs> we'll have to come back for this one again. Make some more stuff. Oh, it's the astrologer's day, so I must- I must not forget to go pay the astrologer a visit. We're gonna take a little bit of sleep. Just that time can pass into daytime. And by the time I reach the farm, it should be daytime. Not this farm. Okay, I got a couple- I got a couple gold star onions. Heck yeah, that's really good. Like any gold star seeds? No. <laughs> of course not. Well, maybe, actually. My inventory's full and there's some stuff on the ground. these onions away. Once again, my bags are just full of so much stuff. I need to work on my inventory management. <laughs> Wait. Fertilizer. Were you not fertilized? Why were you not fertilized? I thought that was like the first thing I did. I got two gold star onion seeds, which means we're like halfway to planting one plot of it. But I should be receiving enough of them to plant. Well, no. No, that's a completely different thing. We're talking about hops and onions. Two completely different seeds. I will be getting enough hop seeds to plant from the miller today. Which is where I'm off running to, off in the wheat fields. Yeah, Alright. Trade me your hop seeds. Oh, you got five today. That's actually exciting, because I um I think I have three already, which means with these five, I'll have eight, which means I can plant two different plots. And now we use this to go to the lighthouse. Because I have to go talk to this guy. Uh, I need you to do some calculations for the mill. You're good at calculating angles stuff, right? Oh, that sounds like a lot of work. I'm not so sure. Okay, so I need to help him out. before I can actually do this part of the quest. Okay. That makes sense. I was just hoping we could move this along a little sooner. But it's all right. Because at least now, we'll go to the dead horse. I have some burial certificates to sell because I'm actually broke as fuck right now due to recent events. Oh, what if I sell all my wine? We're actually all good. I kinda wanna... I kinda wanna keep some of these, cause they're good healing and energy at the same time. Which is pretty cool. It's like a little health potion. Health potion and energy potion at the same time. Which is dope. If I plan to go back into the dungeons, which I know we've had so much fun in the dungeons, I'm gonna need that. I'm just gonna mine these rocks, cause they're along the way home and pick this up, I guess. It's like I keep seeing that rocky outcropping. I'm like, I, I need to get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we can plant some hops now. Very exciting. Very eager for this. 
Um, because I have some gold star onions, I can actually start making burgers. Which I mean, if I'm if I'm lucky, I should only need to do it twice. I'm just paranoid about this one. Um, hops. Where yet? Oh, I need to do it at the vineyard. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Alright, so we need to go back up. Back up to Witch Hill, actually. To plant hops. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Like, that just makes sense. I'm, you know, I'm just... The brain cell isn't with me 24-7. I cannot help this. I'm just doing my best with the technology I've been given inside of my dome. And it's a couple centuries behind, I'm afraid. So let's see. Nice fertilizer, nice fertilizer. Hops seed. Hops seed. There we go. And so now those are growing, which is very exciting. Oh. I'm watching these grapes grow in real time. Hold on. <laughs> Look at them growing up. Oh. <gasps> Sorry, that was just really exciting to me. I just had to stop and watch. <laughs> But anyway, do I still have the onions on me? No. I put the onions away. Give me those. I have so many onions. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to look up onions just so I know like what I can do with them, just to kind of get rid of them. That's that's what I'm looking up right now. Alright, what can I do with what can I do with these things? Well I can make like Okay, obviously I can make food with them. I can make burgers with them, but I don't really... I don't know if burger is the food that I want to be, like, baking to eat. I don't think that's what I want. I can smash them down with alchemy to make toxic powder and extract. Which, I mean, I have so many onions, I need something more, like, more beefy to do with them. Something that uses up more of them. Like, you use them in cabbage soup. Onion rings, toasts with onions, baked kebabs. It's just a lot of cooking stuff. Like, I really don't need as much as I have of it. Hmm. I just wish I could sell them. Like, if I could sell onions, I would be in such good shape. But no. I just have to stare at these, like, six stacks of onions. <laughs> Alright, come on. Give me... Give me 50 of these silver quality onions. We'll just shove them into my little, um... Okay, we have a body, but we'll shove these into my little kitchen storage. Which I feel like... You know, I actually don't have onions in here right now. Which is pretty surprising, actually. Put the gold ones in here, too. And because it's most pressing, we will go handle this body, and then we'll come back to whatever else we were doing before. And so... Once again... Give me this. Yeah, this body, this body's already, like, very crusty coming into me. Six red hearts. Damn. Be good for a zombie worker, though. Ah. 
And yes, of course, we are burning this body as well. Little bit of burning. Aganyok. I've not been sipping nearly enough during the stream. Feeling very dehydrated and perishing, but it's fine. I don't know if this is relatable to anyone else, but I did also have a large quantity of cereal this morning. And so like the roof of my mouth is, <laughs> it feels all like scratched up and unhappy, but I still eat it because yummy. Peanut butter puffs. Delicious. I used to, I really used to not like them when I was younger. I kind of look at myself now like, how? Why? And look, we got five skulls. You know what that means. We can add some more decorations to my creepy basement. Huzzah. I actually think that's the last, um, I think that's the last skull pillar that I actually need. Like, um, because we can't put any more skulls in the wall here. Skulls in the column, however, that goes up. But I need one more blood fountain. And so that's going to be the last thing on here. Polishing paste, polished brick of stone, stone repair kit. Easy. Look at this, look at all this stuff, we're making progress. And so once I get this second fountain in here, we can use all of the blood that we've gathered to fill these bad boys up. You know, I'm feeling kind of like silly goofy right now, so I kind of want to just dip my toes into the dungeon real quick. <laughs> We're gonna see how that goes. I am not... I never have been confident in my ability to not, like, perish instantaneously upon entering the dungeons. Oh, you know what? Can I... I've never studied pumpkin before. So I'm actually wondering if I can just do that real quick. Get those green points. I just want to see if I can like crush it anywhere. Oh hell yeah. Just do it in the alchemy mill. Health powder. Cool. Are you my powder chest? No. You are. Yeah, so that takes up a little, a little slot here. Let's try this, because I don't need it. I don't need these two sticks either. I'm just trying to make some room. Because I, I don't want to go run out to the nearest... Uh, don't want to go run out to the chests right now. So we're just dropping a bunch of things. I really should have my sermon before I go. Oh hi, there's someone here for confession. Hello, tell me your secrets. I won't tell anyone, I promise. Now, is it late enough in the morning that I can actually do this? Prayer will be available. Okay, so it's not quite daytime yet. I just... Okay, there... Okay. I got the exact second that it became available. Here we go, we've rolled around to another week. I'd like to say a few words to my congregation here in this fine church. Our church is great, by the way. In case you haven't noticed, I've been decorating around the place. Nice, it is very nice, thank you very much. Ooh yeah, look at that, six faith right off the bat. I haven't even started preaching yet. Now, let's pray for this blessing of finest burgers and onions growing on my farm. Your donations are welcome. Great sermon, great sermon, great sermon. A resounding great sermon from the crowd. Thank you, everybody, for coming. I really appreciate it. Every day, my empire grows. But 
if anyone ever asks, I don't have an empire. None whatsoever. So no, hold up. We're gonna stop being lazy. We're gonna go run out to all these chests that actually require all the stuff that I'm holding. Because I don't want to just leave random stuff in different chests where they don't belong. Because that's how things just get clogged up. And I get unhappy because I have to do extra running around. Much like I'm doing right now. Rather just get it over with now. Handle it later. So put the hops away here. I can put this extra fertilizer here because I'm going to need it. Should I gather these grapes right now? Yeah, why not? Yeah, because we don't really need to be using the cheap fertilizer at all, pretty much, anymore. Because it's really easy for me to just get the good stuff. Or, you know, moderately okay stuff. You know, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a master as of yet. So let's see. Do we have enough? I don't have enough of the um, gold or silver seeds. Oh, but I can plant these right here. Because they're like already kind of pre fertilized essentially. So I kind of want to just get rid of them so I can start doing my own thing. Eh. All right. And so we're just tying up loose ends with everything we're doing here. We have 15 of these, which means we can make juice with them. We'll take these back home. Just making sure that everything is in order before we move on to the next thing. Pail of grape juice. Give me that. So here we go. Of course, if we're gonna go into the dungeons, we want to have a nice sleep. So we want to go in with full energy. We don't want to just kind of go in there and be like, oh, I'm already mostly dead. Let's eat all of our food so we can keep doing this. No, no, we don't need that. But... I can make burgers. Let's see, it's a it's a 20% chance with a regular onion. Or not regular, silver quality onion. Oh, and I earned the achievement kitchen boy. It's only 20% for gold, so I'm like, is it worth trying? Nah. If we have the gold onions, might as well use them. Oh, and I, I kind of goofed myself there. Oh, burgers give you steady hand. Okay. So it reduces my chance of making a surgical error. So that's something I should eat before I start digging around in bodies. Okay. Oh, I really need, like, another chest or something in here. Just look at this. All of it's... Everything's full. Wait, I need sticks for skewers, right? Is that what this is in here? Also, why are my pails of grape juice in here? I made a lot of really questionable decisions when filling up this chest with stuff. I don't know why half of this stuff is in here. But now I need to get two more meats. Give me those. Ba -da -ba. Okay. So that's what we'll do. We will slice up this meat. And we shall get the baked meat going. I'm 
and as our final preparations. We shall come back down here. Deposit this. Do I have any room here? I do. Okay, great. I don't need to hold on to the whetstone while I'm doing this. Alright, now we're ready. We are ready for adventure. So, come now my friends. Let us see me struggle. Because that's what this is going to be. In the dungeons we got to sit up, you know, it's serious. I'm going to walk in, I'm going to see an enemy. Although I've already cleared most of this floor. I kind of like went through at least a decent portion of it. So some of these rooms are going to be empty. Let's see. So I did find that. So we'll go down this way. Alright, yep. See here we got some boys. We got some spiders. Spiders. Eh. See, they like, they throw stuff. Ah, stop! See, this guy's fine, because he just, like, rolls up on you and swipes. Very predictably. And then these bats just come at you with fire trails. Okay. If I stopped missing things... There we go. Professional. Okay, well that's the exit. Okay. Ah, stop. <laughs> I've met my demise to these buggies before. And so, pardon me if I'm a little jumpy. Have some wine. Back in we go. Ah! I was not prepared for that to actually hit me. Ah! That one, that one either. These dastardly creatures- oh, Jesus Christ. Get away from me! <laughs> Alright. Easy, no problem. Not even a little bit worried. Ow. Oh. Oh, she's spiders. <laughs> spiders suck. Fine though, it's fine. It's totally okay. We lived for now. I think there's still another room up above that I haven't cleared out yet. Oh yep, right here. I'm trying to get this bat out here. Cause the slime is just kind of you know, they just kind of amble along. Okay. Whew. Just take some stuff apart, get some materials. Okay. Because of course we know as a resource hoarder, I have to have everything. And I think now the floor is all good and clear for me to get out of here. Or is it this way?
No. Okay, I just, I just went all the way back to the start. It's fine. I'm a little directionally challenged. In case anyone was un <laughs> unclear of that. Alright. We made it to the next floor down. What horrors will await us down here? And see, now I'm kind of wondering, like, maybe I should have, like, better weaponry? Like, maybe I should get this perk that makes me big guy? Because I could also make steel weapons and steel armor at some point. Like, honestly, I could learn to do that right now. Right? Yeah, I could. I learned to do steel. And then have a steel sword, steel armor. That would make my life down here a lot easier. Without a guarantee. Uh, without a single doubt. I almost said without a guarantee. That'd be interesting. Well, yeah. We'll, we'll go through this. We'll try to go through this one floor without fancier weapons and armor, but I think after this one is when we shall, you know, not try to progress any further without better equipment. Oh, I'm also like out of bag space actually. So that's that's another conundrum of coming down here. I just end up with so much stuff. I don't really need cabbage seeds. I don't need any of these seeds really. Cause they're all baby like baby no quality seeds, except for that lentil seed that I just picked up. Bam. Let's see. I don't need bronze lentil seeds. I got some silver nugget. So yeah, our objective here is to just not die. What the fuck is that? Oh. There are little attacks? Okay. Okay, interesting. <laughs> I haven't seen those before. Oh, I don't need this onion seed. Electric powder? Okay, so you defeat those by just not getting hit by them. Neat. Good to know. And you defeat these by sending them back to hell where they came from. If anyone in the chat knows how to fight spiders so I don't get my ass kicked every time, that'd be really helpful. <laughs> What's this? Oh, I can't... I need to know. Can I... Can I learn this right now? Is that what this is? <gasps> oh! <laughs> it's good to have stockpiled points! Oh, but now what do I get rid of? I'll use bowls. I don't need these. I got diamonds! Oh gosh, I feel like I'm playing Minecraft right now. <laughs> Baby's first diamonds. Oh god. <laughs> I wasn't ready for the bat to just come at me. I feel like I'm never ready for the bats. Ah, stop. We did. Ah. If I could also stop missing, that'd be really cool. I'm good at video games, I promise! Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. 
Stay away from me, you weirdos. Hiya. Oh, don't get- <laughs> don't stand in the fire. Oh, stop. Hello, Spioder. Get away from me, you weirdo. Okay, now this weirdo's gonna run at me. It's alright, I'm a pro at fighting those. Wait, no. Have a healing potion. I don't really need this powder. I can, I can make it at home. <laughs> I feel like a parent who's not letting their kid go through the McDonald's drive through Like, we have life powder at home. Oh my god, get away from me! What is, what is pushing me around right now? I think- I don't know if that was like my keyboard going weird or something. I don't know, I just, I just took a lot of, like, random free damage for no reason, because something on the technical side was just not cooperating with me. Ah, uh, stop missing! That's me yelling at myself, not my character. I know that's my fault. Aya. Okay. Murder. We're here for the high octane gameplay experience. All right. Was this the exit? It and get away from me. Ow, stop. <laughs> did I do it? <gasps> I did. I finished the floor without dying. We made it! Oh my gosh. Okay, every time I go through the dungeons, I'm so stressed. But it's fine. We did it. We made it out. Let me just put all this stuff away. All this powder. This bucket of blood out here. <laughs> All right, I'll put away this electric powder. Yeah, those electric things just coming out of nowhere freaked me out. I, I had no idea what those things were. Never seen it before. Yeah, so let's see what else. I have all this blue jelly that I just don't really know what to do with. But yeah, okay. So, we survived that experience, which is great. <laughs> Let's see, our, um, our meat should be done cooking upstairs. Should have been for a while now, of course. There we go. And now, Borger, our quest of the day. Yay, we have five gold star burgers. And so, in our triumphant return to Witch Hill, we now have the burgers required. Wait, where am I going? 
Am I supposed to go up, right? Yes. My triumphant return to Witch Hill. I have the burgers that we need for the hottest witch burning known to this century. Look, these little burgers. Very cute. Now we just need to get the beer. Of course. The beer is also being prepped for. Because now that I have access to hop seeds. Here we go. Go all the way back down here, back down to my little vineyard. We have a couple hops growing right here. Oh. I, <laughs> I pull up and now they're ready for harvest. Oh, that's so wonderful. I like that. That's real good. Okay, okay. Good, good timing to show up, I guess. So yeah, just put these hops away. Yeah, so I have 17 bronze quality hops. We need like the nicer stuff. We need we need the beer to be gold quality or bust. You know what I mean? So we really need to make this work. I'm gonna harvest all my grapes. Probably get some get some wine going downstairs as a result of this. So we're gonna plant all of our gold quality seeds. And it's looking like we actually have enough gold quality seeds to plant out numerous, numerous little plots here, which is very exciting. We're gonna be moving up in the world. Got just enough to do all of that. And so yeah, let's get some let's get some more fertilizer here. Get some more hops. Wait a minute. Did I plant all my hops already? Is this what this is? Hold on. Is my brain just like not working right now? Was I just looking at grape seeds? <laughs> I think I was just looking at grape seeds. I'm a silly goose. Yeah, my brain's shutting down. I think <laughs> this is this is not good. I mean, it's good. It's fine. There's nothing wrong. My brain just shut off, and I lost track of all the information I was trying to convey. But anyway, we've planted stuff. So I call that. A session well done. And so, we set out on a quest today. And we've achieved that quest. Our quest for Borger, complete. And I guess, I guess next time is gonna be quest for beer. So I don't know if Twitch likes when people say stuff like that, so... We're gonna maybe keep it on the down low. Maybe. Wait. Oh. Wait, I have 45. Oh, that's so good, actually. I have 45 gold quality grapes. Which means it'll be very, very easy for me to get some gold quality wine. Very exciting. We can, uh, we can give them the big squeeze right now. We'll do these silver ones first, because, you know, there's only one of them. Just squeezing some grapes. I wish I could queue up more than one of these actions at the same time. That'd be really great, but you just kind of have to go one at a time. It's all good. So look, now we can go downstairs. Just gonna pop these into the chest. Oh, I want the red wine. And so here we have... Oh, I need to fuel this. Hold up. That's fine. That's fine. We got coal upstairs. No worries. Grab ten of those. 
Yeah, easy peasy. Don't gotta worry about nothing. Bam. Fueled. And yeah, so we need... Like, we distinctly need gold quality in order to make gold quality beer. Like, there's not even a chance with silver. It has to be gold. So, whatever. We will queue up some just, like, copper quality beer. And we'll make do with what we got. Just to say we made some. Oh, and the wine. Of course, how could I forget the wine? I'm just walking away without starting anything. Oh wow, and even the gold quality only is a 50% for gold quality wine. That's crazy. Mm hmm. I could learn the wine master perk, theoretically. Eventually. I don't know if I actually have that available to me. Like, I can do the. Okay, I could not afford to do it right now, but screw it, we're just gonna try it. And if we end up with silver quality wine, I guess I'll just be sad about it. I think I said exactly that last time, but just a step down. But yeah, I think, I think that will be where we wrap up our little session for today. Very cool, very exciting. I set a goal at the start of this game session and I actually met that exact goal. So look at us go, making better, setting better goals, more, more realistic, more comprehensive goals. And actually making some progress in our story. I know I've had like a lot of streams where I just kind of don't make any progress whatsoever, but no, we're trying, we're trying to push now. Cause I actually, like, I wanna see the end of this game. I've never played through it before, so. We gotta get there eventually and yeah gotta keep our eyes on the goals if we want to do that and so yeah thank you everybody who has come to hang out and chat today it has been a lovely lovely little gaming day today a little a little low energy i'm very tired <laughs> um but of course i had a stream yesterday playing D, &D with a bunch of awesome people from world anvil and then i was on world anvil streams again today like this morning for me, right before this stream, so that's why I was a little delayed to start off. And now I'm here, and of course, the stream is over. So yeah, I've, I've just had a lot going on, and I will continue to have a lot going on because I have ample projects and deadlines to keep me busy after this stream. So thank you for coming here for my little suction of time that I have set out for myself to decompress from all that hard work. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Um, if you want to hang out with me again, I will be streaming Tuesday, 7 p.m. But we will doing some, we'll be doing some more like work-oriented stuff, world building, productivity. That's what my usual streams are. So Tuesday, 7 p.m. or Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern time, of course. And so, yeah, look forward to that. If you want to hang out with me in general, you can join my Discord server that is in the, you know, abouts below. And so, yeah. Thank you, everybody, for coming by. I wonder, I wonder now if we uh, have anybody who is streaming, like, right now. I I find on Sundays there's usually not, uh... Hello, it's me. <laughs> I find there's usually not, like, a person available for me to raid, which is really unfortunate. Um, oh yeah, no one, no one that I know is currently streaming, so that's really unfortunate. But yeah, for any of you, for any of you out there, lurkers in the chat, if you want to join my Discord server, if you want to keep up with my updates, that's the best place to do it. And you can get to chat with some of the cool people in my little little community of world builders, artists, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I guess I will catch you guys Tuesday, and we will see. We'll do a little catching up. We'll see what kind of projects we've been up to, and. Yeah, kind of back to uh, back to productivity, back to doing stuff. Because, man, I've been skipping a lot of streams lately. I'm so sorry for that, but it's all right. It's all right. It's all good. So, yes, everyone, stay hydrated, stay happy, stay creative. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Toodaloo, and thank you for stopping by.